This is the bag sort video for row G, the first bag. So when we open this up, we have all these in here. I'm gonna set this aside, like always. And then I'm gonna work on the first bag with this one. I'll set these aside for the next video. And then this is gonna be needed for G3. So I'm gonna label this G3 and set it aside until obviously I get to G3. So there are three different types of these in this bag. There's this one, which obviously is not correct. And then there's this one, which is close, and sometimes close is correct, but not in this case. Then there's this one. And so we're gonna do that one. And just make sure that also fits to this other book, the second edition, just fine. So, um, make sure that you, because I sorted them all out into different piles, and I wanted to figure out which ones they were. So I'm going to go ahead and keep laying these out with these pie pieces. So I've got my G1 laid out, and now I'm going to label each piece. Now I'm going to label the colored sections. So in this case, I'm gonna put a dot on the colors. I got a dot here and here, and then the opposite ones. So I got here and here. I don't have any directional fabric for this colorway as it's solids, black on brights. So um, I'm gonna not have to worry about labeling my directional. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a baggie with a label and move on to the next block. So we're going to go on to G2. In this is obviously all the same triangle. There's 32 of them and I've sorted these already. Um, there's four of them that are not the same size. It's kind of obvious but when you're blowing through here you want to make sure that they really are the right size okay so this is the right size clearly this is not so what I do on these is I will take one that I know is the right size and then line up all the other ones to it and you can see I hope maybe that this is a little shorter up here and this one will be exactly the same at the top. So this one's exactly, as long as the, the bottom line ro lines up and the tips line up, then you know it's the same size. But in this case, the tip is a little short. There's four of those, and so I've set those aside on their own since I've already sorted them. I've got the smaller triangles over here and some of the larger triangles for the other blocks over here. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying these out where they belong. Okay, so part of this video is so that when I make a mistake, I tell you about it because you may make the same mistakes. So I went to lay these out and I forgot the fact that I labeled this EPP modified, which means I'm supposed to go to this. And I've even emailed paper pieces and said I was missing pieces, so then I have to now tell them, sorry, my mistake. These go here, and the reason I'm missing eight triangles is because they're missing eight triangles. So I found the other four. These are similar in size to these other ones, but these are a little bigger than the other ones. There's more than four of the other ones. So make sure that you have the right triangles, well, the correct right triangles, haha. <laughs> Um, right here so that they fit properly. So I'm going to relay this out on this paper and then we can go on. Okay, now that I've fixed my error, I'm gonna go through here and uh, label these all G2. All right, so now we're gonna label the ones that get colors. And so looking at this, we want to emulate the pattern 
So we've got this bear claw look here on each side. So these two triangles here with these other triangles that match it will create this shape here. And then these two with that one will create that same shape over here. So the long side of the triangle touching the big triangle on each of these is gonna be colors. And then up here, we want these to be white and the same thing. The, the background is gonna be the same shape. So that means that these are gonna be um, focus fabric. And then background, 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 focus fabric focus fabric and then to emulate the pattern of this row you want to do the same type of triangles across so I've got these four as focus fabric and these four as focus fabric and then we want to make sure that in each half square triangle we have or in each square with two triangles excuse me that we have pairs of different colors and so we do have one of each on each of these and then if you have a directional fabric now is the time to label it and I'm gonna go ahead and bag this and we can move on to G3 now we're on to G3 I'm gonna check the book first we have an EPP modified which means we're gonna to go to the booklet and we have this is our diagram the first thing we have is the four inch square that we've set aside for when we open the package at first so that is our main piece, and then there's these curved pieces that we're gonna use for the edges and these little clover leaf things for the center. So let's get these laid out. So now I've got these laid out and I'm gonna label these pieces here for G3. Now that I've got them labeled, all the pieces here are going to be focus fabric because this is a background square and they're going to get applique on during assembly. So I'm going to put red dots on all of these and then bag it up and then we can move on to the next block. Next is G4. We have an EPP modified block again. Basically what's going to happen here is they took the center square, one of these squares out so there's not so many little pieces. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and find the triangles that go in what triangles because this is mostly just a bunch of different size triangles with a couple of these guys. So let's get these pieces found and laid out. Okay, so I got all my pieces laid out and now I'm going to label them with the G4. Okay, so now I've got my G4s labeled and I'm going to mark my focus fabric. The center square is background, so that means the surrounding triangles are going to be... Okay, wait a minute. In this one, they've got it radiating from the corner, so we're going to back that up. We're going to start with these and work our way in. And so then, actually, the center square is going to be focus fabric in this case, not background. So, um, these the ones that point to the corners for my block are going to be focus fabric and then the center square will be background. If you want to switch it up for yours, feel free. That's just what I'm choosing to do. So I got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the center square. So if you have a directional fabric, now's the time to label it. I'm gonna bag this up and we can move on to G5. So now we're on to G5. This is the only shape in here that's, that's the same as this. It's a little off on the on the uh, curvature, but that's okay because as long as the other pe pieces fit to make the block complete, then you're good to go. So we've got two different kinds here, and clearly this is going to be the ones that fit. So these are for another block. So I'm going to go around here and take these off, and then we've got the uh, we got the corner pieces, and you've got two different corners here. You've got a right angle, which is going to go on the corner, and then you've got kind of, if you look at really closely, it's a little curved with a point in it. Those are the, excuse me, those are the ones that are going to go into the crevice of the curves that match right there. So 
make sure that you get them in the right direction. So I'm going to make sure that I have that laid out properly and let's get this finished up. So I've got them all laid out. Now it's a matter of labeling each one. Now I'm going to label my focus fabric and in this case the center is background and then these arrow sections on the corners are background. So these shapes here are going to be your focus fabric and then it will be surrounded by background sashings and such. I'm going to put these in a bag and we'll move on to G6. Now we're on to G6, and G6 is going to be modified as well, and that's in the book. So basically they've just taken out that center star, because it's really tiny to try to paper piece that. So we are going to then take these pieces and place them where they go, and then we can have all these laid out. Okay, so these star points are not all the same size so what you need to do is you need to line them up with the piece next to them and make sure they cover that whole side so I got that one where it belongs and then this one this piece here would match up with that so I've got four left this one I'm not sure that you can see that very well this one is a little too big because it goes past the edge of this and this one also too big I'm not sure if they're the same size so don't take that for granted and so this one's gonna work here so I'm gonna stick this here and I'm assuming the other one is the right size for the other thing so there's different size ones which means I'm gonna have to number my pieces when I when I go to label these so this is also for this side. And then I'm gonna use the same piece, but the other edge, since that edge here is gonna line up with the side of these. So let's do this with this. And that fits there, and that's gonna fit on the other one too. So you wanna verify before you place, so. I'm going to stick the, this, now are these the same size is the question. These are not the same size either. Of course they're not. So that's too long. Uh, that looks like it's too short. There. Okay, so this one goes here. So that means this goes like this, in theory. So be careful how you line these up and I'll tell you so that you know the idea the thing is though once you line them up now once you stick them in a baggie <laughs> they're not lined up anymore and you got to line them up again so I'm gonna lay these out and then we're gonna carefully mark these so that you can lay them out without having to put them on this thing again because once you get your fabric on them it's gonna be harder to line them up so I got this piece this piece and then there's this triangle which is clearly this one all right so we're gonna do that and so now I'm gonna take my marker first I'm gonna label them with G6 with my sharpie that I write that with all the time so let me finish that up okay so now that I've got my G6 labeled you have to make some decisions on how you want to do your coloration because in here the pentagon in the center is background with that little star on it so if you want to do that background color and then do all the points as focus fabric or do the whole star as one fabric however you want to do it I'm gonna do my center as background and then my points as focus fabric and then here comes the fun part. Now I'm going to take my ink pen because it's a different type of pen, okay? So I'm going to number these pieces first, which the outside pieces are kind of obvious, but it just that way everybody, everything's labeled properly. And I'm making a giant mess of this. So one, two, and three. 
and then four, five. Part of the reason you use a different pen is so that you don't confuse this with like G4 or G whatever, just because it's usually a better idea to just have something that differentiates. Okay. I'm going to have these here. Okay, so I got this pentagon in the center, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to put two, six, ten, eight, and four, and those are the edges that touch those pieces. And then as I take these off the paper, I'm going to write on it seven, eight, nine. This is ten and eleven. And you got a bunch of numbers on here, so I'm going to circle the five because that's the actual piece that this is. So five there, six, and then we got four, and then one, two, and three across the top. Two, three. I do my ones like that because then it's not mistaken for um, a single accidental line. I don't do that here because it's obvious that it's a, a double number, but that's just why I do that. So um, I'm going to bag these up and uh, then we can do the last block in this in this bag. So now we're up to G7. It's the last block in this bag. So all the pieces that are left over will obviously be integrated into this block. This is book one. This is the second edition. It's pictured a little differently. Um, Neither one really matters because it's in the booklet that we're going to match it to this. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. I just wanted to point out the differences that there are. So we've got a center square and then rectangles that are going to have curved edges. Okay, so that's the trick on these is there is a flat edge that goes against the square and a slightly rounded edge that goes here on the edge of these arrow pieces. And so then the arrow pieces, um, the arrow pieces will have slightly, in, you know, curved edges as well. And it'll help a little bit. Some of you may not think it's gonna matter for your paper piecing and it may not, but when you, uh, when you apply your fabric and do all that, it just sometimes, it really helps to make sure that it's a clean line when you get your quilt quilted. So let me put these pieces on the diagram. Okay, so I got all my pieces placed. Now I'm going to mark them for the G7. Okay, so now I've got my G7 labeled. And we're going to mark our focus fabric. And in this case, the semicircle pieces are gonna be focus fabric which then makes the center square focus fabric. And then these outer arrows are gonna be focus fabric as well. And these edges are going to be background and these rectangles are gonna be background as well. Label your directional if you have it. And I'm gonna bag these up and this completes the bag sort video for row G bag one.